And now a little bit about pharmacology. It's just a brief uh, description of the subject. Actually, we will study that in our next classes and we will talk about that more in uh, lecture on general pharmacology and so on. So briefly, pharmacology uh, is the science that studies drugs and their actions on the living organism. And pharmacology is mainly divided into two big parts. They are pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. What are these parts of pharmacology? Pharmacodynamics studies the drug action itself, the drug action on the body. And pharmacokinetics studies the process of drug movement in the body. How to remember that? I'm showing you. Pharmacodynamics, you see letter D, is how drug affects the body. And pharmacokinetics, how body affects the drug. Uh, I can tell you the examples of that. For example, uh, pharmacodynamics, how drug affects the body. Yes, we can say that um, acetylsalicylic acid can um, reduce the inflammation. This is effect, an effect of the drug. So I can say that the drug, acetylsalicylic acid, affects the body by reducing the inflammation okay so this is pharmacodynamics of this uh, drug also i can say that it affects on some kind of receptors some kind of ion channels some kind of molecules in the body it can change the structure of enzyme or something like that all these effects they uh, go to pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics is a little bit different it's the process of movement of the drug and how body affects the drug. For example, um, how um, does the body slowly absorb the drug or it's the fast absorption, how it eliminates from the body, again, it can be slowly or it can be fast or maybe it can be eliminated with the urine from kidneys, yes, or it can be eliminated uh, with exhaled air through your lungs. So different ways how the body can move. I can absorb it, I can metabolize it somehow, maybe some biochemical transformation can happen with the drug, and then I eliminate that. So all this process, what my body does to the drug, it goes to pharmacokinetics. I hope that this is clear, but we will also discuss that in the topic of general pharmacology. So don't worry if you didn't understand it now. Some terms uh, which will be useful for you in your first uh, classes on pharmacology. Medical substances in Russian, лекарственные средства are the substances used for prevention, diagnosis, treatment of the disease, pregnancy prevention, and so on, derived from blood, blood plasma, as well as organs, human or animal tissues, plants, minerals, and so on. What is important here? In this case, a medical substance can contain various different agents. That doesn't mean that only one molecule is in the medical substance yes it can be uh, like a complex complex of different molecules which can have some effects okay complex dosage form dosage form guys this is very important please now this lecture in this lecture you should try to understand what is in dosage form because you will need it in your first class so dosage form the carstina form it's an easy to use condition of the medical product or medical plant material that helps to achieve the necessary therapeutic effect. It's a form, it's a condition of the drug. For example, I will tell you example. Example is uh, mm, tablet. For example, tablet, yes, tablet or solution or something like that. I will even write this example here for you. For example, tablet, tablet solution maybe mm, you know gel yes 
So this is just a form. It's not the um, specific drug. It's just a form in which the drug can be. This is understandable, I guess. Uh, so this is dosage form. Okay. I hope you will remember that. Next, um, next term is the pharmacological substance, pharmacological средство. It's the substance or mixture of substances which established pharmacological activity and which is now studied in clinical trials. So um, here we know that, okay, we have some substance, some medical substance, but it is not yet a drug because uh, there is not enough information for us to safely use it on people. We just now are on the stage of preclinical trials or clinical trials. I hope that you know what is it, clinical trials. It's when we try the drug on uh, preclinical on animals and then clinical on people. Okay. But we don't know if it is quite safe or it is quite effective. Maybe uh, after this stage, we will understand that this drug is not very good and we will not use it. So, it, so the pharmacological substance is not good and it will not become the drug. So it will only stay the pharmacological subject or sub substance. Sorry. Well, next, medical agent, lekarstvene vishestvo. This is a pharmacological substance, individual chemical compound or biologically active substance that can be used to prevent, diagnose, or treat diseases. For example, acetyl salicylic acid. So you see the difference. Here, medical agent is the one agent. It's one molecule, yes. Acetyl salicylic acid is one molecule. It's biologically active molecule. It's a chemical compound which can be used for some treatment and so on. Okay? It's not that first substance because it is individual. Okay, and now drug or medicine, лекарственный препарат. This is a dosed medical substance in a certain form. Let's try to understand what is the difference. Look here, acetylsalicylic acid. Actually, it can be in various dosage form. It can be uh, acetylsalicylic acid syrup, acetylsalicylic acid solution, acetylsalicylic acid tablet, and so on. But if you have a certain dosage form with a certain drug, for example, tablet of acetylsalicylic acid, um, acid with a dose, with dose 0.5 grams. Yes, so here you can see it is not just something, it's not just a stasalicylic acid, it's already a tablet with this drug with the dose 0 0.5. Now we understand everything about this and we can say that, okay, this is a real drug, this is a real medicine, okay? Okay, so... Let's go next. Our brand or original medicine, a drug, it's a new drug that first appeared on the pharmaceutical market. For example, the Bauer company, Bayer company uh, in Germany, they actually discovered this acetylsalicylic acid and called it aspirin. Mm -hmm. uh, aspirin. So aspirin was, aspirin by Bayer was the original medicine because they discovered and then reproduced medicine is a drug containing the same agent in the same dose and dosage form and having the same effect so after buyer various different uh, firms in the world also tried to make their own uh, acetylsalicylic acid which was absolutely copy of aspirin of buyer company okay what, what is next? Bioequivalence. Bioequivalence is the term connected to um, some reproduced drugs. It's when two substances containing the same active agent in the same dose and dosage form 
have the same bioavailability. Uh, what does it mean? It means that, for example, I take uh, that tablet of acetylsalicylic acid uh, 0 0.5, but only um, 0 0.25 reach, reaches my bloodstream. Да? Смотрите, I take, take 0 0.5 of acetylsalicylic acid, but only um, a half of it reaches my bloodstream. Yes, so this means that only a half of it got to my blood. If the half, that means bioavailability will be 50%. Bioavailability, 50%. Okay, so if one drug has bioavailability of acetylsalicylic acid with the dose 0.5, 50%, and another drug, has also acetylsalicylic acid with this dose and with the same bioavailability, in this case, we can say, okay, these two drugs are bioequivalent. They have bioequivalence. But if two drugs have the same, for example, dose, one drug has 0 0.5 and second 0 0.5, but one of them has 50% bioavailability and another has 40% bioavailability. They are not bioequivalent. Okay? So if they have only the same characteristics. And then therapeutic equivalence. It's the equivalence in effectiveness and toxicity of drugs containing the same active substance when administrated to the same subjects. Why this is again important. For example, I can have um, the drugs are absolutely the same according to acetylsalicylic acid, 0 0.5 here, and uh, another drug with the same 0 0.5 here, but they have different, um, for example, different um, starch in one and tells them in second. So they have different um, additional substances. Different additional substances, for example, is just, is just my uh, example. And uh, according to these different additional substances, they can have a little bit different effect, a little bit, just a small difference, but they are already not therapeutic equivalent. Uh, so you can see that everything should be absolutely the same for two drugs if we want to call them therapeutically equivalent. Mm -hmm. I hope this is understandable. Thank you.